if you guys are looking to buy some in-game items for Fallout 76, be sure to check out Easy and BC. And also, guys, use code FLOP as 5% discount. Links in the description. What's good, everybody, and how's it going? Today, I'm going to show you guys two of the best wacky methods of acquiring caps on Fallout 76. These two, in my opinion, are going to be the best ways or the best wacky methods of being able to get caps in an efficient time. You guys won't have to waste too much time, and it's going to be very consistent because I don't like to have to waste time when I'm acquiring caps. So I just want to show you guys two awesome glitches slash tricks that will allow you to acquire yourself a good amount of caps quickly. So let's not waste any more time, and let's dive straight into it. Right, so just to let you guys know, both of these methods will actually reward you with the same amount of caps, which is going to be 50 caps each run. Now, they're going to be different. One is going to give you additional rewards. Well, technically, both of them will give you additional rewards. You are going to get caps. On top of that, you're going to get some loot. Now, the first location that we're going to be checking out, well, it isn't really a location, it is a quest you're going to have to have. And that mission being the side quest, a no-brainer for the astronaut ally. Now, the way you obtain this is just simply doing her missions. Once the astronaut ally is at your camp, every time you talk to her, she'll give you like a little mission to do. And you'll have to complete about 10 of them to get a no-brainer mission. Because I believe this one is one of the last ones she gives you. But once you do have it, you can bug it out to actually constantly complete it. gives you 50 caps and a bunch of plans. Now, to do this glitch is very easy. All you have to do is once the mission is active, go ahead and talk to the astronaut ally. Once you're talking to her, she'll give you an option to click the second dialogue, which requires 14 agility but if you click it you're going to be able to basically bypass this whole quest which requires you to go on a hunt and kill a robot once you click the second dialogue quickly exit out of the conversation press pause and leave the game now once you're at the main menu go ahead and join a brand new session doesn't really matter if it's a public world or a private world once you have loaded in make your way back over to the astronaut talk to her and you guys will notice that you're again able to click the second dialogue which if you do you're going to get 50 caps and a plan that you can find this infinitely just leave the lobby every time you receive your caps during a brand new session and bang you have yourself an infinite farming method of getting easy caps now i know this method isn't perfect purely because it does have a requirement which is to have this no brain mission completed but if you don't have this mission finished go ahead use this get yourself a bunch of free caps now this next method doesn't really require the same thing you won't really have to have this specific mission you will need a mission but it's going to be to acquire so let's just dive straight into the next method so now go ahead travel to sony top skill and we're going to be abusing and taking advantage of a mission that allows you to complete it within seconds it's really easy now there's one requirement for this and that is to have the storyline for the tadpole missions active if you don't have that active unfortunately you will not be able to do this mission now if you don't know how to activate it i will link a video down below which should give you a brief idea of how to do it or just in general explain to you so go ahead and watch that but if you are able to activate this mission just speak to this megaphone it will require you to run down a hill it literally takes about 20 seconds to do maybe even shorter if you guys are able to just jump across but anyway start the mission follow the flags and then just go to the bottom once you guys get to the bottom you guys are going to receive 50 caps and you're going to get a bunch of loot now if you want to reactivate the mission what you have to do is just literally run up the hill activate the mission again and speak to the radio bang you guys are going to be able to constantly repeat this by simply running down the hill running back up the hill activating the speaker and getting yourself this mission to be able to redo it. it's really simple this is honestly the easiest way of being able to acquire caps in the game now unfortunately you will not be getting plans like in the first method but if you are playing on ps4 maybe or xbox you will be able to do this i would recommend actually doing this because you will have to wait in loading screens and if you are playing on ps5 or maybe pc you can go ahead do the first method because you guys are going to be able to load in quicker but these two methods honestly are the best ways of being able to acquire caps i know this isn't perfect because it's only 50 caps but hey at the end of the day you are getting free caps for practically no effort but overall, I hope this video is helpful, enjoyable, and especially informative. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on just purely the best methods of getting caps. And these two are it. These honestly are the only methods which are good and worth doing. Other ones require you a bit more effort, so it doesn't really add up. So with these two, honestly, if you are trying to farm caps, do these two things. It's really easy and definitely worth. And it's worth the time because you're not going to be spending too much time having to serve a hop, nothing like that. But overall, if you guys are new to my channel and you want to follow up, consider subscribing. I do upload plenty of follow up content my channel currently is fallout based and i try to do regular videos maybe every day every second day so yeah have a phenomenal day enjoy fallout and peace out